I am going to deal with reference which are related to here review of literature. Sources of reference for review of literature and here the session is less analytical and more informative. And as you are already research scholars registered for at least one year or some of you may be more than one year you have registered and you have started your work and hence I would like to say for some of you the information which I am sharing may not be at all new. That is what I mean here by this. Now let me uh, tell you I am going to focus on these points review of literature availability of the sources for that i would like to tell you something about academic libraries and your visit to these libraries in sources of reference one of the important thing which you have referred to earlier while preparing your research proposals these are nothing but journals but whatever are the journals available in the area of your research uh, this is one of the important resource for review of literature. Then uh, indirectly I may also talk about publication value of your research topic. Means when you are going in search of appropriate journal for your uh, topic. Here how to go for indirectly I may suggest. And uh, one of the la uh, last points is how important is your topic to you after you receive your degree or I may also say after you earn your degree. Uh, these are some of the points which I am going to deal with in this uh, informative presentation. Okay, let me begin with the things. Here are two titles of PhD thesis. Could you guess to which subject are these related? First one is in Roman script and second is in Devanagari script. Administrative communication strategies in local self-government and second is Dehu Alandite Pandarpur Ashadi Dindi Sohara Ekabhyas. What is the area of first research topic or what is the subject? The first topic is uh, related to political science. Okay, thank you. And second, yes. Second, I guess uh, Marathi. Okay. See, the purpose of using these titles is deliberate. Our topics don't reveal our subjects. That is the thing. And when we are searching for different sources for review of literature how different strategies should we use to search relevant here literature for review to give that idea i have used these two samples here you may not believe the second title is title of a phd thesis from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University and the subject is history. See the thing. Second topic, Dehu Adandite Pandarpur Ashadi Dindi Sohara Ek Abhyas. This is subject is history and this is from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. And the first is title indicates that it is political science, but the topic is from English. Say how things are different here. This is from North Maharashtra University. Ramnath Kacheshwar Sonone. See, date of registration is 14-3-2009. Date of declaration is 4-9-2015. This is in the list of PhDs in English indicated that is this list has been given by Kavitri Bhainabai Chaudhari, North Maharashtra University. The rest of the topics are of English. You can easily identify, but you may understand the things here. Now, this is the first challenge we need to take into account 
when we think of here our phd topics and when we are in search of relevant literature what keywords to use we may decide this is one more thing here akshipt marathi sai this is a book based on phd thesis and how different is it just to tell whatever were the books banned by british government in pre independence era those books were selected and these have been studied and whatever is the sample size here that is you use two terms population and sample just to understand how vast should be our research 210 books were taken into account and here 122 books were found and then these were studied for phd thesis in marathi out of 210 books in the list 122 were available and whatever are the different things these were studied in this phd thesis and this is the book which has been published uh, based on that research and how topics are different and in what way we should think of searching related literature now i will directly come to the topic that when we are thinking of reference sources mainly we concentrate on the term reference books what is indicated under title books deliberately i have chosen here two definitions one is in marathi and another is in english the purpose to share whatever may be your language of research that is in case of uh, faculty of arts there may be english marathi hindi sanskrit or urdu and in case of other faculties your medium is english we have to refer to the books which are in english as well as in other languages see books available are in english as well as in other languages here this has been taken from a thesis in library science see deliberately to tell, to tell this has been taken from thesis in library science thesis in is in marathi and the reference is taken here are in english now how the definition mentioned just for information i may read book which are kept for reference only and are not allowed to carry outside the building of library such books are called as reference books uh, this definition is uh, uh, applicable to reference sources in general as well not only books but other sources as well these books are compiled to supply definite pieces of information varying extent and intended to be referred to rather than read thoroughly and for example here encyclopedia dictionary yearbooks etc then you may say we are from different disciplines we have to take into account different sources of reference how are these related to us now what comes under these deliberately again first marathi names ग्रंथ सूची ज्ञानकोश चरित्रकोश महिति पुस्तके वार्षिके शब्दकोश स्थलकोश व्यवसाय परिचय मालिका लेख सूची एंड सरकारी महिति पुस्तके मीन्स हियर गैजेट्स नाउ हियर संकीर्ण ग्रंथ त्या विषया इतिहास ग्रंथ गौरव ग्रंथ कोष्टके नकाशे सच ऑल द थिंग्स are applicable to sources of reference most of the times what happens here we focus on only print sources there are also non print sources like some uh, audio visuals are available in all the libraries and we have to refer to such variety of sources for review of literature for the whole Uh, thesis of phd we, we need to refer to such sources but uh, for specific purpose that is review of literature we need to refer to these things now for that i may begin with certain things so as to 
get such books we have to visit your different libraries broadly we come across two types of libraries public libraries and academic libraries academic libraries are of colleges universities here there are again some special places where we come across academic libraries we should not underestimate worth of public libraries means a public library in our village or town may also provide us number of resourceful references one nearby example i may tell that whatever is public library at nashik here it is very useful for phd researchers as well then here uh, i may ask you could you tell me different sections in a library when we visit academic libraries you might have de definitely visited some of the academic libraries what are the different se sections in academic libraries see the first thing is that we need to acquaint ourselves with the different sections in the library uh, i got good feedback with the name journal section uh, there is a broader term used generally periodicals here we may come across journals as well as magazines which are also useful for us then here you may know book issue section where whatever are the regular books textbooks mainly are issued reference books are also issued at their counter but uh, most of the times in uh, undergraduate college libraries this is the only section known to the students uh, as a researcher you have open access to the libraries and that's why when you get open access you need to know different sections in that whatever is important to us is a reference section reference books are kept separately and as mentioned in the definition we can't carry those books out of the library building we have to sit in those libraries where we have tables and chairs and we have to refer to those pages any volume or volumes of encyclopedias can't be carried out of the out of the library and that's why we have to sit there and refer to different uh, uh, sources of reference and that's why this reference section is more important there are again different sections in that one may be where phd thesis are kept uh, many times it is one corner of reference section where we get phd thesis there is a separate list and we may refer to or there are now other ways as as well where we can think of phd thesis of that university then when we are trying to know these krcs the new word which is generally used is knowledge resource center for library and now library and is director of knowledge research center just like issuing section that is borrowing of lending of books there are different section services provided by library when you visit academic libraries you can't carry some books out of the library but sometimes photocopying of some select pages is allowed in the library and for that reprographic facility is made available in the reference section itself when you visit different libraries you will get this arrangement uh, sometimes per page charges are different it depends on the year of publication of the book before 1910 before 1950 uh, every library has its own rule and here Uh, photographic services are provided as per the availability of reference books one more thing here during the previous snack here jaikar library whatever is called as popularly known as of savitri bai phule pune university used yes, to sir, provide it used to provide one more service to all the researchers see 
in this facility we have to tell broad area of our research to the uh, library personnel means we can send them email related to broad area and whatever are the latest books whatever are the latest book chapters and journal articles related to our area of research our topic of phd for example these were sent soft copies especially pdfs of these were sent to the researcher via email uh, i am not using this service at present and that's why whether this is continued or discontinued i am not aware of this if you visit uh, jaikar library of savitri bai phule pune university you may uh, enquire about such service on request it may be available just to tell apart from reference section in number of ways these librarians and the support staff at the library help us because their timings are also different we can get membership for limited period also as a researcher and there are separate facilities for researchers some of you might have taken uh, here all these services and that's why i will not go into the details simply my purpose was to acquaint you with this area okay now are you aware of the national library could anyone tell me where is this located national library it is under ministry of culture government of india i think it is in delhi sir okay thank you i think in bengal sir. okay uh, thank you uh, here uh, what generally we researchers think my topic is this how can i go to such good libraries and why should i go by traveling such a distance and what can i get there that that is the question to us because we are not aware of the rich reference sources available at such places the government also makes available such a thing that is national digital library it is under ministry of education this this has been developed by iit kharagpur here also we may get number of things which are related to our area of research when distance is the barrier we may think of whatever such options made available now i am using such examples to tell you every subject has at least one good library in any part of india if you are willing you may go abroad as well for this purpose it depends on whether you are receiving any fellowship scholarship it depends totally on that but uh, my suggestion would be do visit libraries physically instead of only thinking of digital libraries it may be national library or other libraries now good libraries are in different corners of india it depends on our subject it depends on which uh, institute are we visiting that is higher education institute are we visiting it totally depends on that uh, for example when we think of research in english most of the researchers visit hyderabad there is ramesh mohan library that is knowledge research center at the central uh, institute that is the english and foreign languages university fair we get journals we get books and number of other resources we get at one place but some researchers think uh, we have regi registered for phd at savitri bai phule pune university and why to go beyond jaikar library when you visit other libraries you understand what else uh, you can get here for this purpose only i am using here example of 
Maulana Azad Library and here this is of AMU, Aligarh Muslim University. Uh, I repeatedly give example of this library in relation to here search of relevant research material. See, search of relevant research material. What is this? One of the senior teachers from KTM Chum College, Nashik, his subject was history. He was carrying out a minor research project which was funded by Savitri Bai Phule Pune University. See, Savitri Bai Phule Pune University. It was minor research project. Uh, hardly 80,000 or 1 lakh rupees was uh, the grant sanctioned by Savitri Bai Phule Pune University. As the research is of history, see, you can't buy new books when there are no new editions available of old books you can't buy them some old monographs and some old uh, here books or sources are available in different parts of india or even abroad here this senior teacher the researcher for minor research project see the term is minor it was not major he was working on history of Baglan region of Nashik district, whatever is also known as uh, Satana Taluka, history of Baglan, history of Satana Taluka. He visited Peshwa library, uh, it is near Wadia College at Pune for all the documents related to Maratha history and even history of Maharashtra and even related to Baglan region. He got some documents. But he learned from uh, one of his colleagues that he should visit Aligarh Muslim University. And when he visited, he got number of things which were not available at the libraries in and around Pune at Maulana Azad Library AM. And now the question to you is, see, is there any relation between Satana and AMU library? Is there any relation between history department of AMU and history of Maharashtra and especially one area, Satana or Baglan area? But whatever was not available in Maharashtra, that study material was available at Aligarh. And that's why when you are thinking of searching relevant literature for literature review or reference sources, you should not restrict yourselves to some of the college or university libraries which are near to you, we uh, generally think of the distance. Here, similar are the things of other subjects as well. Deliberately, I restricted myself to one example. You will get number of examples where some specific libraries are there in specific parts of India. I'm using word specific parts of India where these libraries are known for one or the other sub-discipline of our subject. And that's why we need to go beyond. As we have registered for PhD, uh, we should not think every time that digital uh, sources, like as some of you might have used Google search for while making proposal, you might have mentioned some of the uh, uh, resources available there in your research proposal. But you have to go beyond this. Now, what is that important? I will. Uh, what is that importance of all this? I will uh, come to that. This is here. Whatever is about uh, Maulana Azad Library of AMU. Two things are here. There is e-library as well, and there is web open. I will come to that later on. But here we need to know that such libraries are there in different parts of India related to your subjects of study. You, you may think of uh, your guides may help, your fellow researchers may help or even others may also tell you uh, which library is known for what kind of uh, resource or material. Now, here, why to know these academic libraries and then why to come to here review of literature. I am sure some of your research proposals 
were definitely based on your resources at shodhaganga if i am not wrong if you might have mentioned five or six sources in review of literature part of your research proposal at least three or four may be related to shodhaganga uh, just to tell there is world beyond shodhaganga as well see there is world beyond shodhaganga why shodhaganga is not the only resource on which we have to rely heavily mostly researchers rely heavily on shodhaganga but uh, if you have to know the difference between resources at uh, a library that is when you visit physically what you get think of university of mumbai one of the universities established in 1857 how old how rich is the library you can understand 1857 1957 and we are in 2023 and if you give search in a relation to your research area or your subject on shodhaganga how many thesis of university of mumbai are available on shodhaganga you may take a search Now, those who have not logged in through mobile if they have desktop or laptop they may think of this how many thesis phd thesis for example in, in the subject of botany or in subject of english from university of mumbai are available on shodhaganga just you may verify i am talking of number and then you will understand what is there and what is not there whether to rely heavily on shodhaganga or not because for the sake of research proposal you have thought of shodhaganga and as i have told you earlier there is world beyond shodhaganga some of you might have also referred to shodhaganga but there is world beyond this we need to understand now here uh, we need to know importance of review of literature most of the times i have seen Uh, with my limited experience uh, to the research i have seen students directly jump on to chapter 2 3 4 in such a way and uh, they are not taking seriously students in the sense i mean research scholars they are not taking seriously review of literature whatever area you are working on at least one or two researchers in the state of maharashtra or in india means other states and even in other countries one or the other researcher has already worked on your topic here you have to prove that how your topic is different from previous studies and for that you need to know representative previous studies how many you have to refer to it depends on you it depends on your area i have come across one thesis in commerce where only 78 reference sources were reviewed i don't know what was achieved by referring to 78 sources where there was mention of journal articles journal articles are one part of this just like on shodhaganga you get phd thesis but there are number of other sources number of other reference books we have to take uh, take into account fair research is carried out by other researchers we may come across just like i refer to minor research project carried out at savitribai phule pune university where would you get this on shodhaganga or at any other place ugc minor research projects these are in your area of research where would you get and here to tell you briefly that however sound is your literature review see that your quality of literature review defines your quality of research means what other researchers have already carried out what were the methods used what was the sample size what were the experiments carried out what were the drawbacks in their research 
everything you may understand when you refer to previous studies in your area which may not be restricted to phd thesis even some mphil dissertations are also very good i may not say all but some are very good and that's why you may refer to here every resource every research in your area then how to carry out uh, literature review how to present that is another thing i would like to uh, concentrate on uh, reference sources now what are these earlier i had mentioned this in uh, devanagari that is marathi these are some of the english names see sources of reference may begin with visiting websites of different universities now you may say what can we get on websites of different universities we may visit to the departments for example de department of uh, chemistry for example department of commerce department of english on the web portal here research areas are mentioned researches carried out have been mentioned here mainly first area of that department is mentioned and some good researches are also mentioned there and that's why we may visit university websites india and abroad then we have to visit krcs as i have already told knowledge resource centers that is here i may refer to academic libraries then are we acquainted it with catalogs card catalogs in the old libraries and whatever are the new ways of referring to catalogs how are the books arranged we may learn through catalogs what is the system there we may learn through catalogs whether colon or david decimal what type of system is used to classify the books we need to know that then and then only we can search the books easily in the library then dictionaries whatever may be the subject this is not only restricted to english whatever may be the subject you refer to language dictionaries and subject dictionaries then thesauruses encyclopedias now thesauruses i may deliberately use here marathi word vidyan and shastra if you know there is any difference or if you want to say uh, what is the similarity in these two words vidyan and shastra deliberately i am using this uh, you may find the distinction in dictionaries and uh, as well as in thesauruses and that's why you may refer to these sources as well then encyclopedias these are subject specific as well and general as well then there are biographical sources in literature we focus on study of any author life and works of author we may get in biographical sources uh, for others there is source like who's who there also we may get many times year books those who study for competitive exams they go for uh, for example manorama year book or even now saka year book such year books also help us to get some relevant or required data then directories what are directories when you visit libraries you will understand i will not elaborate on this then handbooks even college handbooks may also help uh, here i would like to tell you college annual magazines these college magazines may also help us uh, to give some rich resource again here i am compelled to tell you about uh, nat samrat marathi play see i know no one's uh, subject is here marathi but deliberately i would like to tell in list of reference books you will get uh, one special issue on nat samrat published by pratap college ammaner see you may get references on nat samrat in that book means students who contribute to such special issues ug and pg students they have also something new to communicate and we may get some hint in these books and that's why we can't ignore college annuals then 
statistical sources wherever required in social science like economics you may refer to nsso that national sample survey there you may get then gazetteer uh, in politics geography you may get then bibliographies whatever are the lists there we may get indices that is index indices the newspapers in newspapers also we may get uh, archives that is past issues and last part here mentioned is thesis of the month now here uh, generally students go by brand name and they are in love with mother tongue and that's why they go for english marathi dictionary though this is oxford in the available choices we go for this but it is not good one and here which dictionary to buy this is representative example to give you which reference book to buy if you think of buying any one you may decide first and that's why here don't blindly follow any brand because we are in the world of brands and that's why we should not blindly follow any oxford or cambridge is all the time good here this is example that which you should not buy now when you think of dictionaries think of this modern gadgets bookmark dictionary or pen dictionary such gadgets are there your google search may give this there are videos as well and due to mobile here we are using these dictionaries in different way means uh, we are gadget gadget friendly generation and that's why such things may help you uh, this is electronic dictionary bookmark that is example uh, when the things are in roman uh, script uh, we may get help of this uh, even think of english language okay uh, some of the points i have left incomplete i am going to refer to them here think of when we refer to sources generally what we do uh, think this phd course work itself paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 in paper 1 and paper 2 whatever is your subject at the end there may be some list of reference books and whatever ideal this syllabus compilers expect from us is we should mention each and everything but when you refer to the titles of the books given in these syllabi documents uh, we come across different things here is a book by r j rees see the title english literature and introduction for foreign readers an introduction of english literature for foreign learners introduction of english literature now which title is correct whether the publisher has changed the title according to the edition or are the writers different we need to know uh, i will leave this to you but i will also give the thing that in google search we are using keywords and if we don't have enough keywords or appropriate keywords enough as well as appropriate our search may not yield expected results now how is this example that is whether we have to verify each and everything or not this is one example see first example is of university of mumbai second is of savitri bai phule pune university and third is of shivaji university kolhapur uh, i have taken this from undergraduate papers and see the titles which is the correct one that is homework for you uh, this should not be considered you can think of your reference books related to this uh, research methodology paper or uh, any other paper subject specific paper and think of whether the titles are appropriate or not this is one of the things which may help you in locating appropriate reference sources in the academic libraries in your offline search as well as online search okay now whatever i have left aside i will come to this uh when you think of the generations of researchers those research guides who have already retired they compare their hardship with the current facilities available to 21st century research scholars they had to sit 
in the old library buildings the furniture was also old for number of hours number of days refer to the reference books and collect the essential material they used to sit there take down notes and then they used to go to the typist if they were uh, not good at typing number of things were there in that era many research supervisors used to tell the aspirant researchers or those who are have uh, newly registered for phd refer to university news it is a weekly journal and here the last part is thesis of the month sometimes thesis are from humanities sometimes thesis are from science when uh, uh, humanities when science when you refer to the journals you may uh, that is issues of these journals you may understand here thesis from the universities in india in your subject means english botany uh, commerce or any other subject here such journals uh, such thesis are available there. see thesis submitted by research scholars to the universities there is list given with the names of sometimes research guides sometimes with names of university in the system changes uh, you if you refer to you will come up now this is not the only specialty of this university news you will get thesis of the mens on some university websites as well i have already mentioned here university websites you have to refer to here i will suggest you visit swami ramanand tirth marathwada university uh, website and on the website you will get thesis of the month here whatever are the researches declared or submitted in every month related to your subject of study uh, details you may get there so that it is easy to search for this thesis in the uh, libraries that is when you visit physically or on shodh ganga thesis of the month is specialty of uh, srtm university there are other universities as well where these things are given but you may refer to this thing uh, do you have any experience of going through pages of university news has anyone any experience of searching the list of thesis in university news okay now how this could help us here this is one example i am giving see uh, year 2012 issues were considered from january to december volume was 50 and uh, whatever was the study carried out in english these are the sub areas of english british literature american literature new literatures or translation studies literature and film such sub uh, disciplines are there in english studies and how many thesis are listed in that issue th that is given hmm. see the number it varies because it depends on how you know indian universities here submit the list to university news and you may get this this classification helps you for your review of literature in your area whether the studies have been carried out or not your area means your topic of research you may get some idea and that's why how to go through this is one sample uh, if you are interested in university news you may visit aiu new delhi office for Uh, good material on your area of research especially it is related to higher education but these things are also uh, available they have also published books on doctoral dissertations in india all this collection is available at aiu aiu means association of indian universities there you will get everything related to research then uh, i know uh, your subjects are different but how reference books are available in different forms some examples i would like to share see 
i would like to share some examples so that you can get idea how to refer to previous thesis as i have already told you everything is not available on shodhaganga because all the universities in india have not uploaded all the thesis on shodhaganga and that's why whatever research has been taken place in different parts of india you may refer to different books now here see the thing glimpses of indian research in english literature here abstracts of selected dissertations are available in this book and in indian doctoral dissertations here list of phd thesis whatever areas i have told such areas british literature american literature comparative studies translation studies or literary criticism uh, linguistics such such titles are there and in indian universities what research has been carried out you may get here have you come across any such resource any such book in case of your subject has anyone come across this is example of english but there are students of other subjects as well has anyone come across any such book in his or or her area of research no sir okay then uh, here think of i i told you about directory i have told you about bibliography i have given you here online and offline these are not only related to english but these are related to other things uh, here means indcat is indian catalog all the reference books you may get here it is see uh, online union catalog of uh, indian universities uh, this was the version before uh, shodhanga uh, but here you may get books as well uh, this is applicable to all you know shodhanga uh, here etds are there electronic thesis and dissertations and that's why uh, there is no need to focus much on shodhanga as you are already aware but in a relation to your topic see here english language and literature teaching in india a bibliography here what what is available phd thesis mphil journal articles in which journal which article is published in what area everything is available in this bibliography such bibliographies are available in your subjects as well simply you have to know this you should you have own limited meaning of bibliography whatever is the list of references given at the end of a thesis is bibliography that is not the thing here such bibliographies are also available in all subjects keep in mind simply we need to know those reference sources so that we can review previous studies properly then there is one more here research in english language education in indian universities means ele just like elt english language teaching here english language education what is difference in this or what is speciality of this directory all such thesis are mentioned and here these include thesis from uh, the faculty of education as well not only english but education means those research scholars after completion of ba and m ed have registered for phd in education here whatever research they have carried out in relation to english language education it finds a place here which is missing in bibliography of english language and literature teaching and that's why every book has speciality and we need to know this now every university has published books here two examples are of savitri bai phule pune university earlier one see the title here literature english german thesis here i have mentioned uh, this was in the 70s and that's why only four phd thesis were uh, here available in savitri bai phule pune university when we consider english see one was in 1959 another was in 1968 third was in 1958 fourth was in 1967 there is a book on phd thesis 
in all the subjects and this is nothing but bibliography of phd thesis in savitri bai phule pune university at that time it was university of pune then it became university of pune and now it is savitri bai phule pune university now dr nagesh londe is director of jaikar library that is krc and here whatever bibliography he has uh, compiled is bibliography of doctoral thesis submitted to savitri bai phule pune university 1951 to 2013 just like this volume is of arts mental moral and social sciences there is another volume which is of sciences fair this is not available in any of the bookstalls or with any publisher because this is the private copy private publisher that is uh, the researcher himself has published this that he has compiled and published and we may approach him to get the copy because it is not available elsewhere as it is not published at all and that's why we have to think of this then here uh, we may think of one more thing uh, that that is in other universities as well there are compendium of research compendium of research here this is of shivaji university there are three volumes this is second volume 1987 to 1998 is second volume first volume deals with the previous thesis and after 1998 uh, to 2010 there is third volume again whatever research has been carried out in a relation to your area you may get in such books this is these are examples from savitri bai phule university or shivaji university because these are nearby universities even state of gujarat had taken initiative and their compendium of research from all the universities in gujarat has been put at one place you will get pdf of your work but it is available in soft form all the universities in gujarat and phd thesis you will you will get in that now this is what one more you may come across that is dr baba saheb uh, ambedkar marathwada university has published a book it has been compiled and edited by dharam rajveer uh, that is their director of krc it was published in 2010 and doctoral research in all the areas all the subjects at uh, bamu are available 1958 to 2008 uh, these pages are related to a specific subject and that's why i will not go to that but uh, what information you will get you will get guide wise list you will get researcher you will get topic of the phd thesis carried out and all the thesis mentioned here may not be available on shodhaganga and even all the thesis which are on shodhaganga may not be available in this list one or two may be missing but such authentic resources are already made available by our universities that is this was the era before shodhaganga became popular but we need to know these are sample examples there are such number of resources which help us to review literature in our area okay now here just like i showed you about uh, university news here similar thing this is in numerical form what do we get if i am aspirant researcher i may understand where there is scope to study which uh, thesis i should refer to and what not to do i may get some idea and that's why such books we may uh, this books may help us to review literature now here uh, what we do we take review of literature and phd we in the sense some students i am not generalizing uh, there are 90% students who work sincerely for research but some students may take the research lightly whatever may be the process sometimes this uh, here due to devanagari script whatever is anti plagiarism software in that we may not get how much is plagiarized as 10% is permissible 
and sometimes the things may go unnoticed from the researcher his guide or even referee but what we do after we complete our research we publish it in book form you know it is uh, it may help in our api score and at that time when the book becomes public here it is in the hands of the public the readers may point out the things especially they may criticize whatever might have not pay, been paid attention by the guide or the referee they may come across these things because you may know in case of science if there is a referee from abroad uh, every minor detail he or she may not come across sometimes they are really subject experts but sometimes it may happen and then whatever are our uh, whatever are the details we have provided if these are wrong then these things become news uh, this is uh, related to uh, here marathi again deliberately it is uh, related to year of publication generally we take the things lightly and that's why in year of publication here we may uh, consider uh, what to take and what not to take this is of uh, nagpur university uh, rashtra sant tukdoji maharaj nagpur university and the phd thesis is on tukdoji maharaj and there are uh, some details which are wrong and those things are given here means our phd if we are not taking seriously we are if we are not following any reference source sincerely then it may become news after we become phd guide see and we need to avoid these things here in this i have focused on here uh, reference books which are part of our phd and in that mostly uh, we refer to previous studies means we go for mphil or phd mphil dissertation or phd thesis but if we work seriously here our research becomes here reference book that is our phd thesis when converted into book when we publish it in book form it becomes here important reference book now here is one example from english see the title is masks of conquest what gauri vishwanathan has done is she referred to parliamentary proceedings that is british parliament she went through parliamentary papers documents and whatever were the resolutions passed in british parliament in relation to teaching of english in india what was their agenda she tried to reveal and that's why the title is mask of conquest it was a phd thesis now it has become milestone in case of teaching of english in india what was their agenda uh, there was very good research now it has been challenged but the, if we carry out our research ser sincerely seriously here even foreign publishers approaches for publication now based on such there is marathi book by rb patankar fair such books have been analyzed critically means if you have to understand a reference book whatever are critical analysis on that reference book these are also available in uh, marathi or in english as well means we need to refer to such reference books as well because some new light is thrown uh, in uh, such books on the same area means we should not restrict ourselves to one or two known books or reputed books there are number of books apart from phd thesis which may help us to know the things uh, miss avasthi has tried well but the things uh, we come across bibliography and references at the part end of our uh, thesis even at the end of research paper these terms are used but there is generally confusion among the researchers about these two terms so if i am at a refer to suppose 272 uh, 
reference sources am i able to include all the reference sources in my phd thesis am i able to cite from all the reference sources in my phd thesis or yes, research sir. paper see when you will refer to more number of reference sources you will understand that is those you which you can cite only you may mention when there is no citation then you may not mention means if you are not quoting uh, something from that reference source you may not mention and that's why there is basic difference whatever are the reference sources books journals and all other reference sources which we have referred to for our study our, our research when we make alphabetical list of all these things we may call it as bibliography it is at the end of a phd thesis or end of a research paper it depends on what is required there list of all the books which we have referred to that is bibliography books journal newspaper articles or uh, entries from dictionary or encyclopedia everything comes under here but the basic difference in bibliography and reference list or references is in references we mention only those books journal articles newspaper articles or any other source which we have cited in that research paper or in that phd thesis if we have not made any mention of that work we should not mention it in the list if we mention whatever we have not referred to then it becomes bibliography if we mention only those reference sources which we have referred to in that research paper or in that uh, phd thesis then it becomes reference list or reference this is the basic difference thank you very much